From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Every year, somebody says the world will end. For instance, in December of 1999, thousands of otherwise normal people believed disaster would strike on Y2K, the year 2000. The world didn't end. But to others, it was just a dress rehearsal. Tens of thousands of people believe a global disaster will occur on December 21st, 2012. But why? Here's where it gets crazy. First, the Mayan calendar. This is actually a system of calendars, each of which has specific uses. The first calendar, the hub, is 365 days long and used for day-to-day -day activities. The second calendar, the Zulkan, is a 260-day ceremonial calendar. The combination of these two calendars creates another time measurement system known as the Long Count. The Long Count began in August of 3114 BC. Once every 5,125 solar years, the Long Count finishes a complete cycle. The current cycle will complete on the winter solstice of December 21st, 2012. In the Mayan tradition, this date marks a great change from one age to the next. But what happens to the age in which we live? Secondly, 2012ers are concerned with sunspots, dark areas of the sun's photosphere with a lower temperature than the surrounding area. Over approximately 11 years, the sun reverses its polarity in a process called the sunspot cycle. These temporary knots of magnetic energy vary in size. As sunspots increase, the sun produces solar flares and coronal mass ejections which project radiation and geomagnetic storms. The last solar maximum occurred in 2001. The next one is due in 2012. Over the past few years, things have been eerily calm on the sun. This solar silence has led NASA scientists to worry that a large solar storm may be on the way. Stay alert, because we'll have about eight minutes to run for cover if it happens. Both the cycle of the Mayan long count calendar and the height of sunspot activity occur in 2012. Could this be a coincidence? Skeptics point out that most conspiracy nuts misinterpret the Mayan calendar and sunspot cycles are notoriously difficult to predict. So what if something does happen? A large solar storm could damage Earth's power grid, stranding astronauts in space and forcing satellites out of orbit. Cell phones and other wireless technologies could fail. This has happened before. In 1989, a solar storm caused a five-hour blackout in Quebec. Many 2012ers believed the power outages and lack of communication during future storms could last for years. But solar storms may be the least of our problems. Some theorists think a mysterious planet will enter our solar system in 2012, colliding with Earth or even burying aliens. Other conspiracy theorists believe a shadowy group known as the Illuminati may try to take over the world in 2012. These Illuminati, according to some conspiracists, may be working in concert with the alien forces on that mysterious planet. As you might imagine, there's no proof of these claims. Some theories are even stranger and more crop up each year. Some 2012ers think the change may trigger a positive age of spiritual growth. So what will happen on December 21st of 2012? A series of natural disasters, like a burst of solar radiation or an asteroid impact? Aliens and ancient prophecy? Or will it simply be another day? Chock full of stuff they don't want you to know.